Okay, how's it folks? I have some pretty good news. New microphone arrived earlier than expected and along with it the 32 grams, uh, extra 16 gigabytes of RAM, might be able to help which allows me to get up to 32. Uh, project. And then there was also a potential hotfix that I could apply myself on the Reddit forums, which I played a bit earlier to test it out and it seems to have completely removed all the stuttering and freezing I was getting. So I've managed to even bump all the graphics settings up to high without any issues whatsoever just go as to show that this game does need an optimization patch if a, a easy engine edit sorted it Spare out a moment. I could use your otherwise help. let's get straight into this really looking forward to playing this game without any performance issues you wanted to speak with me i did hello i'm duncan hophouse pleasure to meet you i've heard all about you of course Confronting trolls and dragons. That's nice to hear. I have had my share of adventure. I hope my reputation's warranted. I'm going to presume your reputation is in fact warranted. In which case, you are precisely the person I need. You see, we were learning to repel boggarts in Professor Hecate's class, and, well, mine unfortunately took the shape of a... a puff scheme. Aren't those those little fluffy round ball things? <laughs> let's, yeah, let's go with this one. They're adorable. Why would you be afraid of a puff scheme? They seem adorable until one sticks its tongue up your nose. Regardless of how reasonable I believe my fear of puff schemes to be, I'm beginning to get a reputation as a coward. Some have even taken to calling me Puff Skeen Dunkeen. I'm sorry to hear that. Words can be cruel. Thank you. Poppy keeps offering to help me in overcoming my fear, but I'm too afraid to take her up on it. Anyway, to make matters worse, I stupidly blurted out that I must be braver than people think, since I have been in the Hidden Herbology Corridor. The Hidden Herbology Corridor? Yes. Rumor has it that the Herbology Professor before Professor Garlic kept dangerous plants there. It's supposedly so overrun now that no one dares enter it anymore. I was hoping you could go there and bring back evidence that I could use to show that, well, I'd gone in. Say a bit of an exceptionally dangerous plant of some kind. What sort of plants should I expect in the Hidden Herbology Corridor? I haven't a clue. But have you seen the kinds of plants Professor Garlic grows? If the previous professor was anything like her, I'd imagine they're not exactly harmless. Very well. If I'm in the area, perhaps I shall take a look. Grand. I'd very much appreciate it. Come and find me if you get the proof. I shall be forever in your debt. Maybe it's because I selected House Ravenclaw, but... Hmm. Hidden Herbology Corridor. Sounds intriguing. It definitely seems like Ravenclaws enjoy bullying people. Because that's the second Ravenclaw that's just mentioned being bullied by his peers. So let's hope this poor bloke out. Oh wait, hang on, something flashed up here with this. Cold. A uh, dragon, maybe let's set it on fire? Incendio. Ah, that does work. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay, so more way to gather XP. I get it, I get it. Okay. My siblings so much smoother. Getting about 120 FPS at the moment. With no freezing, stuttering, or whatnot, can cast spells. Maybe I'll go do another round of Julian Aspel. <laughs> uh, I like those two. Seems like one of them is enjoying pissing off the other. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this guy just does laps of this area. Isn't this where um, McGonagall did that spell and then all these statues leaped out of their place to help defend Hogwarts in the last movie? I think it is. I really like the, that, that scene, especially the soundtrack for it. Yep, completely smooth. 
Gryffindor and Slytherin beat us playing with each other. Having a pleasant time at school. Oh. The other day in the Definitely different from Harry Potter's time. Actually, like that they haven't stereotyped all Slytherins as evil sods. It's quite cool. And I love these little trumpet flower boys. <laughs> okay, that's cool. I wonder what animal I'd be if I was an animal. All right, let's go deal with some plants. Bit of honey there. Got to keep the bees around all your flowers. You can just see Hogsmeade off in the distance over there. Revelio. What's the style? These dry vines are one spark away from becoming kindling. I don't know, maybe I haven't unlocked it yet. Something I need to do. Incendio. That's cool. I'm definitely enjoying this game more now that it's more of a game compared to a slot show. <laughs> like even just cast spells isn't an issue anymore. This must be the entrance to the hidden herbology corridor. Incendio. Yeah, this is pretty cool. I'm, I'm okay. Let me hang on. Swap out my spells quickly. Put Lumos back on. So it's uh, this. Let's swap it out with Repairer. Lumos. There we go. Devil's snare seems to thrive in darkness. Perhaps it doesn't care for light. Oh yes, I remember this from the first Harry Potter movie book. Incendio! Lumos! What's up here? Incendio! Lumos! Incendio! Lumos! Okay, couldn't drop down, so let's go back. Down and through the stairs. Also, like the sound effects for Lumos, it's got some heavy nostalgia feels from I think the third Harry Potter movie, Prison of Azkaban. Incendio. Lumos. <laughs> trying to sneak up on me. Okay, let's see if I can't. Incendio. Lumos. Probably after. It seems the devil's snare was protecting a chest of some kind. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Too short. Lumos. Blood red fedora. Some sort of tabernacle. Incendio. Here we go. Oh, I should also mention I'm not using ray tracing or anything like that because I don't think my graphics card is powerful I enough for that. Piece of that enormous venomous tentacular would be enough for Duncan to prove his bravery. Incendio. Lumos. Incendio. Lumos. So I think those the reason why I keep firing incendio at those torches is if it keeps the the devil snare away. Ooh, gold. Incendium. Lumos. Oh, this is big. I'm honestly surprised it's not attacking me. Alright. That was pretty simple. Oh, and there's some small... Oh, we're in the greenhouse. Oh, so we probably came through 
Yeah, we came through there. That's cool. Little secret entrance into greenhouse with more venomous tentaculars. Ooh, chest. Oh, I've got a Quidditch robe. Fortunately, there's no Quidditch in this game. Revelio. Sounds like there's a page somewhere nearby. Nearby. Let's go and look for it. Is it up or out? Back this way, so I think it's out. Or well, through the door, I mean. This is pretty cool. Tree. Are we inside of an even bigger greenhouse? With smaller greenhouses in it. Revelio. Yeah, there it is. Alright. Greenhouse tree. Situated at the center of a Hogwarts greenhouse, this giant tree has a system of roots as deep reaching and convoluted as the school's dungeons. Okay. So it's got a large root system, that tree, and that's pretty cool. I could just have a oh, is it? Polygy classroom. I'll probably need to. I'll go do that before I hand in this quest. Revelio. Let's just do a bit of a run around. This is cool. Okay, it sounds like there's something in there, but that was behind a locked door. So I need to wait before I get that. Fluxwood. Weed stem. Ooh. So, oh, it's one of them chests. So I need to change my spell to disillusionment. Pick up some more gold. They always get so sad when I take it from them. <laughs> it's 500 gold, so I don't feel sad, but yo, that little puppy noise. Meant to tug at your heartstrings. Alright, let's check out our apology lesson. Professor Garlic, how wonderful it is to see you again, Lenora dear. Oh, here, you'll need these for today's class. Uh, um, uh, a little treat for your auntie. Ah, oh, hello. Class, please welcome the newest rose in our garden. We do look forward to growing together. How thrilling it is to have everyone back together again. This year will be filled with enchantment and excitement, but the most important thing cultivated in Herbology is knowledge. The prudent Herbologist is no more afraid of the venomous tentacular than the bouncing bowl. Now then, today we will be acquainting ourselves with the mellifluous tuber known as the Mandrake Root. Accio! Let's see if we can't make our fibrous friends a bit more comfortable, shall we? <laughs> First, let's protect our ears. <laughs> now, everyone, grip their mandrake by the tendrils and give it a firm tug. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
The soil should envelop the root like a warm, dirty blanket, putting the mandrake right at ease. Repero! I'm very sorry about that. Yours was a bit mature, I'm afraid. All right then, off you go. Splendid work, everyone. Now for our next task, we'll be planting Dittany at our potting tables. You can all get started. I need to have a brief word with our new student. I should think Professor Garlic would be more careful with her mandrakes. The best time to plant a seed is last season. The second best time is now. <laughs> I do wonder about Professor Fig. He's hardly ever in his classroom. Most strange. I'm definitely enjoying all the teachers so far. Hmm. I wonder if hippogriffs like knot grass. And then one day I was stirring, and the next I was swimming in wolfsbane potion. Sharp almost threw his wand at me, I swear. Turned out I just spilled my flask. Wasn't my fault. Is it possible to become an aura and not excel in potions? I think so, wouldn't you? It's all about demeanor, really, isn't it? Being an aura, having a commanding stature. I think I shall be a force to be reckoned with. Did you know that you can use the mandrake to defend yourself? Why, the very idea. Yes, Professor. Firstly, well done with your mandrake. They can be rather difficult to get a grasp of. Actually, I enjoyed it. I couldn't help but catch your enthusiasm. How kind of you. It seems you're already taking to Herbology like a mandrake to fresh soil. Now, as I mentioned, next we'll be planting Dittany. Let us find you some seeds. I already have some, Professor. Pick them up in Hogsmeade. You visited the Magic Neep. Wonderful. A prepared student is bound to bloom. I've arranged for you to have your own potting table here in the classroom. Wasn't easy to spare one on such late notice. Plant the seeds there now, and you can return to harvest them later. Even with soil, sunlight, and a bit of magic, they will take time to grow. Let's see how to balance my star thistle arrangement. Mifflers fancy, or roses? Is that flower growing out of a pumpkin? It is too. Dittany's restorative properties make it a vital ingredient in the Wiganweld potion, as you all should know from Professor Sharp's class. Haven't done potions just yet. Okay, looks like we need to plant. Select available seeds to begin planting. Once the seeds have been planted, the plant will take time to grow before being ready to harvest. Ten minutes for five Dittany's. You can add fertilizer to this plant to increase its yield. You can create fertilizer by conjuring a done compost. <laughs> uh. Well done! Once it can be harvested, your destiny will be ready to use in Wiganweld potion. I'll let Professor Sharp tell you about that. Now, what say we branch out? Introduce you to a different sort of flora, the Chinese chomping cabbage. You'll find that some plants are better suited to uses outside of a cauldron. The cabbages do get testy without something to chew. Fortunately, I have a dummy for them to gnaw on. Be a dear, and let them have a good chomping. Yes, Professor. They're in the other greenhouse. It's just at the end of the footbridge leading out of this room. Your classmate, Mr. Pruitt, has kindly offered to accompany you. Come back and see me when you're finished. Oh, and mind your fingers. They do bite. Uh, <laughs> chomping cabbages. First time I've heard of that. Now remember. Hello. Saw you on your way to Hogsmeade the other day. Nice to meet you. I'm Leander. I'll be showing you the Chinese chomping cabbages. Up these stairs will take us there. But your lead. Nice work in defense against the dark arts. By Revelio. Excuse me. Your duel with Sebastian. And he's good. <laughs> Thinks he's really good. 
but you outright slaughtered him. It was brilliant. Oh. Well, thank you. I nearly put Sebastian in his place myself. I mean, I would have, if Hecate hadn't stopped me. Didn't she stop that dragon skull from crushing you? <sighs> Typical Slytherin trick, dropping a dragon skull on someone during a fight. We Gryffindors fight with honor. And uh, Ravenclaws too. At least you did. <laughs> At this guy. Here we are, home of the Chinese chomping cabbage. Go on, grab a few of those cabbages. Just mind your fingers. I almost lost a thumb once. Don't worry, Nurse Blaney put it back on. Trust me, you do not want to go through that. Now, see that dummy? Just toss the cabbages at it, and they'll do the rest. How do I select them though? Oh, hold left button and tap R to open the tool wheel and assign the Chinese chopping carriages. Then tap left button to use your assigned tools. Okay. Okay. So I can also deploy the venomous tentacular that I found. And then potions, the other sorts, and mandrake. Okay. Select cabbages. And then tap it. Oh, jeez. I'll chomp on anything they can get their uh, mouths on. <laughs> <laughs> Mum planted some in her garden last year to keep the gnomes out. Did save her the denoming, but they left her honking daffodils in tatters. Honking daffodils, that's what Vicious they're called. Vicious little bastards, aren't they? My kind of plants. Not like stupid booba tubers and bouncing bulbs. The kind of plants that just have your back in a fight. Uh, not saying you can't go it alone, but... Well, imagine that wasn't a dummy. I suppose they could prove useful outside of the greenhouse. Nothing wrong with a bit of backup, even if it is from a cabbage. It's chaos out there. Trolls in Hogsmeade and such. You can't be above throwing a cruciferous vegetable if necessary. Dogweed and Deathcap has more of them, if you're keen. Other plants too. Ones your parents wouldn't plant in the garden. You get the idea. Anyway, we uh, probably ought to head back to class. Take your time. I'll see you back in class. It was a page here, if I recall correctly. Revelio. Yep, here it is. Dewitchable plums. This orange radish-like fruit floats upside down as it grows. Some believe it can enhance one's ability to accept the extraordinary. Okay, so they are dewitchable plums. Isn't that what Luna has grown outside of her home? Luna loves good, I think. Okay, that's it for this place. Hey, let's go out here. Yeah, and then we just run across instead of going through the, the walkway again. Right? And with that helpful reminder as to why we should always wear our dragon hide gloves, I shall end our lesson here. Terribly sorry, Mr. Clopton. <laughs> Someone got chomped. I tended to the Chinese chomping cabbages, Professor. Remarkable plants, aren't they? I hope they weren't too much trouble. Oh, don't see any bite marks or missing digits. And good, as you do seem to be quite green-fingered. Oh, I'm eager to see your skill in the soil continue to blossom. Magical plants have so much to offer. I'm eager to learn more. I'm glad. Herbology is a bounteous subject. Tend to your garden, and it will tend to you. Huh. Well, I suppose that's everything. Do come by for a chat sometime. I so enjoy checking in with my new students. She definitely enjoys teaching herbology. Relishing their new pots only cost me my damned hearing. Make anything. as well as friendships. Kindness and concern are as necessary in the greenhouse as in the great hall. I think there was something here to pick up. A note. Dear Professor Garlic, how very th thoughtful of you. And remember that strawberries are my favourite. They're as sweet as can be. It's no wonder muggles love them so much. Everything you cultivate seems to be of such high quality, from bitterroot to berries. I do hope that my darling niece can learn the skill whilst under your tutelage. Lenora so adores you. 
as do all of your students, I'm sure. We must regard always Eleanor Evelé. Uh, I think Lenore was that Hufflepuff that got us started on the Moth Lumos um, portrait quest thing. So now I've that's. Always said that travel broadens the mind. Yes, I'm sure you did. But now that that's sorted, I want to go to. Um, yes. We return to Duncan. Enjoying this so much more now that it's playing smoothly. Have you found anything to, uh, prove my bravery yet? Hello, Duncan. I have the proof you wanted. That's one leaf. Must have been a giant venomous tentacular. It's even more than I expected. I knew you were the one to ask. I appreciate you getting it for me. Of course. I hope this helps you prove yourself. This is sure to put an end to Puffskin Dunking for good when I show everyone in the common room tonight. This will show ever how ridiculous that nickname was. Thank you again, and have a good day. I know I will. Thank you for all of your help. No more puff skiing dunking for me. And we've got a robot of that. Okay. Let me just check challenges, see if anything else to pick up. Doesn't look like it, so pop into gear. And nope, not good enough. And yeah, that's better. And got the robe. Oh, yes. Legendary Quidditch robe. <laughs> okay. And then what was this one? Also slightly better. Yeah, let me wear the Quidditch robe for a little bit after getting rid of the fedora. And then let me actually pop by Hogsby to sell off all my other loose gear. And then we'll continue on for looking at what our next quest will be. Because we have limited inventory slots, like only 20 slots for now. So I don't want to run out of space when I'm more cozy than Hogsmeade. Don't want to run out of any more slots while I'm exploring and whatnot. He's a sponge earth science spinner. Okay. Welcome. Do you let me know if I can be of any assistance at all? Sell off everything. See that we good. Never hurts to keep my stocks replenished as we've equipped our best at the moment. Over 3,000. That's pretty good. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Oops. Revelio. Okay, I'll come back to Hogsmeade when I've unlocked the Alohomora spell to explore properly. Let's go to quests and see what we need to do. So, meet Natty in Lower Hogsfield, attend potions class, Professor Hickett's assignment wants us to avoid enemy attacks by dodge rolling 10 times and cast Ascendia on enemies 5 times. And then the Daedalus keys. And then cross rounds, round three, and combination practice two. So let's go do potions class. So, request, locate on map. Okay. 
Okay, let's travel to Sala Potions. Let me actually swap my robes to back to my school robes, you know, as I'm taking another class again. It would make him look completely incompetent, which he is. Okay. Um, and then I'll put my Quidditch robes back on when I'm going to take my first flying lesson. Oh, what was it? Not that one. Yeah, it was that fancy one. Yeah, fancy one. Okay. Let's do potions. First time I've seen someone with different colored hair compared to like black or brown, blonde. more than he's letting on about the Goblin Rebellion. Rebellion. Professor Sharp's Aura Badge. Auras comprise the Ministry's magical law enforcement and protect the wizarding world from all sorts of threats particularly those posed by dark magic. This aura badge belongs to Professor Shaw. Okay, so he's an next aura Well, he might still be a current aura, but just teach him potions, I don't know. What's this over here? More gold. One gold. <laughs> That's nothing. Uh, okay, let's do potions class. Potions is one of the most challenging and hazardous subjects taught at this school. As fifth years, you will be required to reach new heights of both discipline and intellect. You will begin this term by brewing a Wigan Weld Potion. Mr. Takar, can you tell us why this particular potion might come in handy? Yes, Professor Sharp. The Wigan Weld Potion can be used to sterilize and even heal a variety of injuries. It can heal some injuries, but not all. Points for Ravenclaw. Before today's class is completed, each of you will have brewed a Wigan Weld Potion of your own. You never know when you might need it. Please begin. <laughs> Almost like Snape with instructions on board. Use Get going. a strong, even motion when crushing your ingredients. Please be meticulous when adding powder to your potions. One errant sneeze could be disastrous. I see most of you have not forgotten how to stir. Hmm. Not an easy potion to brew. Well done. And from what I hear of your recent exploits in Hogsmeade, you'd also do well to practice brewing the defensive Edurus potion. Professor Weasley had you acquire the recipe from Jay Pippins, correct? Yes, sir. Good. For the moment, you can find the ingredients you need in my office. But in the future, you'll be expected to provide your own ingredients. Some can be harvested from the plants you grow in your herbology class, and rarer ones can be purchased. Others, however, may be harder to obtain, and will require you to be a bit more... resourceful. Come and see me when you've finished brewing, and we'll see if it was skill or luck the first time around. That was pretty simple. I was expecting us to be able to mess up somehow. Don't fret if you run out of ingredients. I simply grow most of what I need. My Wigan World potion's utter rubbish. Wish I could just replace it with one from Jay Pippins. <laughs> My parents considered keeping me home from school this year after the rumors of a goblin rebellion.
fine job brewing your first Wiccan Weld potion. But there are many potions yet to learn. This is going to be a busy year. She sounds happy to be in potions. Professor Sharp must have learned a lot during his time as an Auror. I wish he talked about it more. I was impressed that you were able to answer Professor Sharp's question about the Wiccan Weld potion. Oh, thank you. That means a lot coming from a fellow Ravenclaw. And I've never seen anyone brew such a flawless Wiganweld potion on their first try. Well done. I'm glad I was able to get it right the first time. You must simply have a knack for potion making. Some students seem so confounded by potion recipes, it's as if they're written in gobbledygook. A fascinating language, by the way. Neither here nor there, really, but I am a self-taught speaker. Merlin's beard, good conversation is the enemy of free time. I must return my book, Gateway to the Far Stars, before my next class. Speaking of stars, we'll be in astronomy together. You'll love it. Professor Shaw is firm, but quite clever. See you soon, no doubt. So that's someone that's really happy to be in Hogwarts and learning, which is pretty cool. Did I hear Professor Sharp say that you have permission to go into his office? He did say that. He wants me to get more ingredients to brew another potion. Brilliant! You, my friend, have been presented with an extraordinary opportunity. I'm Gareth, by the way. Gareth Weasley. Bit of a prodigy with potions, if I do say so myself. Pleasure to meet you. Wait, are you related to Professor Weasley? She's my aunt. Keeps too close an eye on me for comfort. Ugh. But she can't be everywhere. Listen, anyone with a troll-sized brain can brew an Adjurus potion. I'm working on something that's certain to be spectacular. I'm just missing one tiny last ingredient that will add that extra spark. I suspect that's where I come in. You're as clever as I'd hoped. I simply need a single Fooper Feather, as you'll already be in Sharp's office with his permission. Perhaps you could grab it for me. Only reason I'm agreeing to this is because I'm curious what he's going to do with the feather. I'll get you the Fooper Feather, as long as you're certain Sharp won't miss it. I assure you he won't. Fooper feathers aren't that valuable. Wait until you see what I'm brewing. Hurry back to me when you have the feather. <laughs> and it's a cool name, Foop. <laughs> Alright. Remember, precision is key when brewing. Okay, so we've got some mongrel fur. Ashwanda eggs. Some gloves. Memorandum, date 31st of December 1875, from Aura Office, subject Borgen and Burks. Borgen and Burks has had an increased amount of activity outside of ordinary shop hours, particularly in the wee hours of the night, with suspicious deliveries being made to the shop's back entrance. Given what we know of the shop's reputation, we are adding more Auras to join those that have already been watching the shop. You are amongst the new additions. Further instructions to follow. So he is still currently an Aura. Okay. I mean, here's a... Wow, that's a big feather. Did not expect it to be that big. Or that purple. <laughs> a well-prepared witch or wizard always has a few potions on hand. Here's the Fwapa feather you wanted. Brilliant! Thank you! This is going to take a moment to brew. You should get back to brewing your Adjurus potion, and I'll tell you when this concoction's finished. Seems like the Weasleys enjoy being a bit mischievous. Proficiency and potions are two things that cannot be rushed. Have patience and be thorough. Okay, so... Adjurus potion. It gives me... Rock skin, I guess. I remember reading that recipe. And it's automatically done. This takes time. And now we add the mallow sweet, and that's odd. What's happening? <laughs> Wait, it's not supposed to. Ah! Get it! Get it! Oh! Bell! Dragon Duck! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> What now, Mr. Weasley? Sorry, Professor. That'll be points from Gryffindor, again. Mr. Weasley did not do this on his own. 
His accomplice will answer to me as well. I brewed an Adura's potion as you asked, Professor. I'm surprised you had the time. You seemed rather busy helping Mr. Weasley brew chaos. I'm sorry, Professor. I was merely trying to help a friend. Taking responsibility for one's actions does go a long way with me. I shall assume that you've learned a lesson. As for the work you did today at your own cauldron, I will say you've done well. I confess I was skeptical given the advanced nature of this class and the fact you're a new student. I'm glad I was able to meet your expectations. A rare occurrence. And you do well to remember that you're not a potions master quite yet. In addition to having a solid grasp of how to combine various ingredients, you should gain an understanding of the ingredients themselves. Pay particular attention in herbology. The plants you nurture there are often essential to the potions you brew here. Now, I recommend that you find a safe location in which to practice brewing. You cannot leave a hot cauldron simply anywhere. That'll be all. Even though I found in an early episode... I think each of us has had enough excitement for one day. Class is dismissed. In an early episode, I found a cauldron brewing in one of the toilet stalls. What is Gorn doing? He always seems to be walking around with like that echolocation type spell. No idea what he's trying to find. That was an interesting class. Thanks to you. Wasn't precisely what I had in mind, but it was still brilliant. I appreciate your help. I hope Sharp wasn't too disagreeable when you handed in your potion. Heard him talking about taking responsibility. Professor Sharp was annoyed, but we sorted it out. No harm. Cheers to that. He probably had a good chuckle after we left. Sharp may seem gruff, but I'd bet a few galleons he blew up a potion or two in his day. Best be off. Next time we talk, I promise. Fewer explosions. <laughs> Revelio. Okay, looks like there's nothing else in potions. Let me fast travel back to herbology. The plant should be finished growing by now. Or the greenhouses. How nice to see you, my young friend. It might just be me, but it also seems to be loading much quicker than previously. Yep, finish growing. Oh, and it just carries on growing. Okay, that's cool. And it's raining on top. Okay, so I don't have to keep reusing the same seed. So I'll buy a seed once, maybe? Per pot. And every 10 minutes or so I get some more plants out of it. And then I use those plants to make potions. Or to sell, I guess. Alright, what, what are we doing next? The Hecate's assignment. And meeting Natty and Lower Hogs. Let's go with that. Okay, it's on the map. Okay, looks like we're gonna have to run quite a bit, but that's fun. Especially as this game is in much more playable now. And also, let me know about audio quality because this is a new microphone and I'm probably gonna be fiddling with audio levels and different filters and whatnot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh my soul. He won't put humming. And he just keeps going. <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. Oh, I enjoyed that. Okay, so let me change my Go to more outdoorsy type stuff. Oh yes, and I got a pair of gloves for the first pair of gloves. I saw. Significantly increased my defense, which is good. Change that to nothing, and then change the looks 
to Fancy Boy. Wait, what's this one? I'm not much of a, a plant master yet, so... Oh yes, it, let me actually go back into my water. I quite like this one. Makes me feel like what an assassin would wear if they had to infiltrate Hogwarts. I don't think owls make very good pets. Right. Oh wait, running the wrong way. Need to run this way. It's this can't go through there. Maybe that's where they store the brims or something. Oh, here's another food mark. What are you up to now? Flying class one, yes, so that is probably where they store the rooms. First time running through this way. Is this the groundskeeper's where Hagrid, Hagrid will eventually live. Revelio. Definitely going to need to learn that unlocking spell soon. Oh wait, here's some more moonstone. So nice casting a spell and not worrying about stuttering frame issues. What's up here? Wait, is this? Oh, that's yeah, that's to the Owlry. Okay. Let me keep running to where Natty is. There's that bridge. I haven't gone on it yet, I don't think. I should probably try and get less distracted until I've unlocked the room of requirement and the talent system and whatnot. So that my progress will actually mean something. Oh, it's automatically unlocked this flu point. Handy resource indeed, your field guide. I'm most pleased. Oh, there, to be that's the clock here. tower right there. Okay, okay. So I should have just fast traveled to the uh, clock tower. We saved about 100 meters, 200 meters or so. Maybe those balloons are for a flying challenge or something. What's down here? Revelio. Can I go inside? I can do. What's this? Okay, I got a potion. Alright, so over here. Ooh, a bit of frame really stuttering there. There we go, that fixed it. Groundskeeper tools. One might surmise that this set of tools could be enchanted to create all sorts of furnishings for a cozy hut, as large as the occupant may need. Okay, so this is the groundskeeper's hut where Hagrid stays, and the other one is where Kale Magical Creatures uh, teacher stays. Okay. Giant pumpkins outside. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. Where is it? Okay. There's a dungeon or something there. What's this? Oh, clump juice. Oh, it's got sparks coming out. Ah. Okay, so let me pull this here and then cast it Cindy on it. Okay, and then incendio. Incendio. Okay. And then let me swap out disillusionment for Lumos. Seeing as I'm going in a in a Lumos. Crypto dungeon or something. Revelio. Lumos. Got the scores. Revelio.
What's this thing? Don't quite know. Maybe I need to unlock a different spell or something. Like that bombarder to blow up that wall. Oh well. Cotton grass dug bug. Akio. Seems to be stuck. So this is gonna be a free kill basically. Levioso. Akio. Okay. Did that drop anything? Can't pick whatever that is up. Oh well. I'm sure I'll find more of those frog things. What's this? <laughs> he goes diving. Okay, you got some loot out of that. That's unexpected. Okay, got very wet there. But let me speak to this person over here first. It seems to be a side quest. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes. My name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? I was hoping someone would come along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. You see, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Might you be the one to help me? Diving into the lake sounds like an adventure. Tell me more. Splendid! Precisely the response I'd hoped for. What do you need help retrieving? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. I'm so sorry. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. You seem to think I might have heard of the Bath Pinch Smedleys. Why would I know your family? That's like asking why the sky is blue or grass is green. The Pinch Smedley name is synonymous with intellectual curiosity. We are known for our contributions to science and art. I'm surprised you haven't heard of us, frankly. But with all I plan to discover about the world around us, those that don't yet know the name certainly one day will. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses. Fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Hmm, it sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand, but I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would be wonderful to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. I do hope you find the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. Well, we've already 
gone for a bit of a swim, so let's see if we can't find it. Not the best day to be swimming by the looks of the weather, but oh well. Not the fastest swimmer, this bloke. Okay, so these are the diving spots to check it out. This must be where the pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. See if we can't find anything. Okay, got some more goggles. That's what we want. And we got Dapper Mave Ensemble. There's another one over there. Oh, we're filling up with gear. I might need to go back to Hogsmeade. So I love this stuff. Charming house cloak. Here we go. Pinch Smedley family astrolabe and fo uh, three rigged family astrolabe. Let me actually just try and get to shore and then run around. See if I can do that faster. I like how he does a sort of shallow water waddle. I trust you didn't find the dive too terribly difficult. Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your calibre is certain to find all sorts of things down there. Thank you again. And I do hope you keep diving. You certainly have a knack for finding treasure. So the reason why I didn't ask for more money from her was because she already had offered everything else that I found as payment. So there was basically no point for me to, um, well, I saw no point to ask for more. Saber Ash Brown, ooh, might want to change that. One holster or handle. Okay. Oh yes, that, that looks cool. With the white and black finish. That looks very cool. I like that. I'm going to keep that one, I think. Just check if there's anything else better to equip. Oh, another legendary. Okay. And then the robe. Nope. And then the outfit. Yep, this is better. Stats are climbing higher and higher. Okay, let's get rid of the scarf. It's not cold enough for to be wearing a scarf, but I think we're going to be wearing this just because I like these boots rather than the shoes he, he normally wears. And it looks like there's something new in the challenges. Finish the quest. Oh yes, got better gloves. Okay, so you get challenges by defeating different enemies. All right. Let's have a chat with Natsai. Right, let's get out of the water first. Wonder who lives here. Ah, it is good to see you, my friend. Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. 
They want something that Professor Fig and I found at Gringotts. When were you at Gringotts? Just before we came to Hogwarts. In fact, it's why I was late to the sorting ceremony. A portkey brought us there after the dragon attacked our carriage. What on earth? There's one more thing. It's a bit odd, if I'm honest. Professor Fig says I have a rare connection to a powerful form of ancient magic. Is that the magic you used fighting the trolls in Hogsmeade? I think so. I I'm still learning, but I can see traces of it, and I've cast magic I can't otherwise explain. I know that's a lot to absorb. It is. And I will have more questions. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll. And Serona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Good. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair. And the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen, find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. Be on your guard. So she basically told me that... What's going on here? Yeah, I'll go that next. I don't have time to argue. I've told you repeatedly not to stray far from home. Especially when I'm inside with your little sister. But you should see the mummy. Her beautiful, these horses with wings. Oh, that's enough. I'm too tired for your stories today. You stay right here where I can see you. Now, why don't you do some more drawings for me? Hmm? Very well, mummy. Okay, let me check I'm wearing all the best gear and then sell off the rest to this fella right here. Oh, I got a new wand handle. Swirly purple. Going back to the one I saw previously. Yeah, it looks like I'm wearing my current best. Sell off the rest. Hello, sir. What do you sell here? Hello. I'm Jalal Semi, and this is my potion shop. I can answer any questions you have about the town. What do you have for sale? What can I help you with today? I'll have no trouble selling this. Thank you. Hope to see you again sometime. Okay, I think I'll probably end it here and then Lumos. Yeah, we'll carry on from here with the next episode. It seems to uh, lags have well FPS has dropped down to about 24, 25. So there's probably still a memory leak somewhere, so I might as well stop it here. If you guys would like to keep watching this. I never thought Ramrock's loyalists would go this far. Um, hit that subscribe button. Otherwise, hope you have a great day and cheers for now.